In this lesson, we are going to have an introduction to components. Components are like JavaScript functions that accept arbitrary inputs called props and return React elements describing what should appear on the screen. To create a component, right-click on SRC, click New File, and set the component name. I'm going to create a component named Welcome. Welcome component is gonna show hello world on the screen. So, as I said before, components are functions. So create a function and set the function name to welcome. And what I'm gonna return is a JSX H1 and enter hello world. That's it. We created our very first component named welcome. To use this component, we need to export it. Export default welcome. So by having export default, we can use this component in other files. To use this component, what we need to do is to go to the index.js. As you see, we are using app component from app.js, but in this case, we are going to use welcome component. So just remove app and enter welcome. Check the style of using component. We treat it like a HTML element. We need to import welcome. Import welcome from. It's in the same folder, welcome.js. We can enter welcome.js or only welcome. There is no need to put .js at the end of files while you are importing stuff. Great. Let's test the result. Open your terminal. If you already have npm start running, just check the result. Uh -huh. We have hello world in localhost column 3000. If you don't have it, just run npm start and press enter to run it in the project folder. Good. The next step, we can make the welcome message parametric using props. In the welcome.js, enter a parameter named props, and we can use this parameter to make the welcome component parametric. I'm going to say hello to the user instead of world get rid of volord and put a pair of carry brackets, enter props and enter a dot and name. So in the welcome component, we made the welcome component parametric. Let's go to the usage of welcome in the index.js. And here, as you see, we can set a parameter or a property for welcome component here and it's gonna be name and let's enter the name to John. When React render this component, it pass John's as a field of props and the name of that field is the name that you enter here. So it's gonna be name. So to access to the John, we type props.name. Let's test it. Refresh. As you see, it changed to hello John. So that's the way we define a component and we pass parameters to the component using props. We can define components using ES6 class instead of functions. Let's define the class component, right click, create new file. Let's set the component name to message.js. As you see, it's capital M. All components should start with capital character. And define a class, set class name to message. And it extends react.component. That's another way of creating component. It's class-based component. We need to import react from 
React package like this. It's import. Inside message component, we need to define a function named render. And in this function, we use return. And what we return here will be rendered into the screen. Let's make it h1 message and enter the prop for the props to access to the props we use this dot props dot and here i'm going to use a small message so the message component render h1 and inside that we show a message and the text of message is coming from props dot message let's export it export default message like what we did for the welcome component to use this go to the index.js and right after welcome create message component enter message with small s react is great and close it we need to import message otherwise we get this message message is not defined like what we did to import welcome import message from dot slash message let's test it refresh aha uh -huh. hello react is great good we tested two ways of creating components in react the first one is using functional component and the second one is using class-based component we will use functional component unless we have to use a class-based component which will be discussed about it in next lessons about state and life cycles the next topic for this lesson is about composing component Component can refer to other component in their output. I mean, inside the welcome message here, we can create a container like dev, move the heading one inside that, and use the message component and enter the message like, how are you? And close it. So, Inside the component, we can use another component. Let's import that component here using import message from dot slash message. And let's check the result. As you see, hello, John, and message, how are you? This is welcome component, and this one is message component. Inside welcome component, we have used the message components. So it's composing components. At the end of this lesson, I'm going to edit index.js and instead of having welcome and message here, I'm going to cut them from here and use app component as it was at the very beginning of this session. And then go to app component here. And what I'm gonna do here is to remove all content here and return a div and inside that div i'm gonna return welcome and message so the app component is the parent component which returns two components welcome and message to import welcome just press control space and you will get a recommendation like this by clicking on it automatically welcome will be imported here let's do that for this one select message from rc slash message and it's gonna be imported here save the file and check the result we are getting the same result let's get rid of the last one and only have welcome and as you see we have hello john and the message is how are you here we can get rid of unused imports like this one and this one and that's the end of this lesson here is the code inside app.js welcome.js and message.js 
In this step, we are going to install React Developer Tools extension for Google Chrome. Search for React Developer Tools in Google and press Enter. Select the first link and you will be redirected to Chrome Web Store and the name of this extension is React Developer Tools. More than 2 million users downloaded this extension. Click on Install it because I have already installed it. I have removed, but you need to click on green install button. And then after a while, you will see React Developer Tools here. I mean here. And if you go to the localhost column 3000 and from menu of Chrome, select more tools, select developer tools, you will have a window like this and you have two new item its components and profilers they are coming from this extension so after installing this extension you will have components and profiler here if you click on components you will see the structure of component in this screen the main components is app and there is no props for apps the second one is welcome and it's the child of app component and the props of welcome is John. It's exactly what you set in the app.js in this point. Welcome component has a child and its message component. Message component has a props. The name of props is message and the value is how are you. If if you check your code inside the welcome, you have a message component as a child of welcome component and the props is like this. So by using React developer tools inside DevTools of Chrome extension, you can see the structure, the props and all information about the React applications in one single place. Great, that's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, which is about state and life cycles. Bye-bye.